Thank you for joining this episode of QB Cure. And this week, we're gonna talk about merchant services. With a lot of our clients, they're asking, who do you use or who do you recommend using for Visa, MasterCard, and Amex payments and bank transfers? And I can show you what's working for us, what I actually use, um, and see if this might be a good fit for you. On the screen right now, I just made up an invoice. And you can see if you're using QuickBooks Merchant Services, which I use, it's pretty slick. The online payments, you can check mark what you want your client to see when you send out this bill. So when you create an invoice and you send it out, let's say I do a project and for $1,000, let's say, I can pick and choose, do I want the client to be to have the ability to pay by credit card or by bank transfer? Both get the money, as long as it's processed on their end, as long as they pay the bill by three o'clock in the day, you will get the money the next day. The bank transfers are cheaper than credit cards, but both get to you the same day or the, the very next day, which wasn't always the case. So when I click on save and send, you will see that this option, I can click it to give them the option to pay. So when the client receives this invoice, there'll be a, in green a pay now box. They click on that and they can pay it instantaneously. So it makes both sides of the transaction very slick. And then when they pay it, the nice thing with QuickBooks Merchant Services is when the money comes in, it matches up to this invoice. It automatically deducts from your AR. And when you wanna know who has paid, like here's somebody that paid $745, it says pending. Well, tomorrow it will show funded after it's funded. And it lists all of the amounts. It will list, if, you know, if it was $800 and then minus any fees, it gives you all of the information right here. And how I get to this QuickBooks merchant services is right within QuickBooks. That's why I like this. You hit the gear icon, you go to company settings, and when that comes up under payments, when you have your merchant account set up, you just click on manage account. That gets you into the merchant window with all this. I always just go to activities and reports and go down to transactions. And that gets me everything I need to see. And it's all tied into QuickBooks. Now, when I was looking at other merchant services, they always talked about you know a little cheaper fee here and there. And it, at the end of the day, it was nickel and dimes, and none of them were as highly integrated um, compared to the QuickBooks Merchant Services. So I like the ease of use. When I've had some issues with QuickBooks Merchant Services, they've been able to help me. I've only had one issue where none of the funding happened because they were having a global issue, but that happened one time in the year. Other than that, it's super smooth. They used to change the, the amount of days it would take to receive the monies. But just recently in the last uh, three, six months, all the monies, as, again, as long as they receive it, as long as you receive the money by three o'clock, you'll get it funded the very next day. And that goes for credit cards or bank transfers. So it's something that's worked really well for me. The fees are um, competitive compared to other merchant services. And one thing that the other merchant services can't do, can't do is they can't integrate it um, as easily as QuickBooks does. I've, all, I've seen some other players that say they have integration and they do, but not as user-friendly compared to QuickBooks Merchant Account. So just sharing what, what's worked for me, check it out. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. And, and let me tell you where you find out information and where you sign up for the merchant services through QuickBooks. You actually go to the website, it's www dot quickbooks dot intuit dot com forward slash payments check it out once you fill out the application which is real fast and easy they typically will let you know in a couple days thanks thanks for joining this week's episode with qb cure please like and subscribe us and we'll look forward to you on the next episode thanks so much